Hello, I'm Jared Dienda, and this is Snap-on Tools Great Garages. We're here in Breckenridge, Texas to check out Azell Aviation, where they build and restore vintage warbirds. Let's take a closer look. How we doing? Howdy, Jared. Glad to have you guys. What is Azell Aviation all about? My dad started back in 86 because he was already working on World War II aircraft and repair and restoration and decided there was a market for it. And ever since then, people keep dragging in projects and we put them all to flying condition. It's all about taking something from history, put it back into flying condition. We've got one aircraft that we've been working on for seven years. Why snap on tools for his aviation? You got the tradition, you've got the quality, and there's always that guarantee behind everything. I've got tools that I bought back in the 80s and the 90s. Your space is very interesting. You and your dad are staring at each other right, since you got right. big red snap-on cabinets. A lot of these aircraft were engineered for purpose, and that was combat and go to war. And they didn't put a lot of time in maintenance because they were worried about getting through the initiative and the conflict. And a lot of things were just built into corners. To go through and take some of this stuff apart and put it back together, it's, it's a jigsaw puzzle of sequences. So you've got to have special wrenches. The nice flat blade of a snap-on wrench is countless times the first thing you notice trying to get in certain places of an aircraft. What crosses over from the automotive world? It's such an interesting space. We're fans of this. It's still nuts and bolts. There's hydraulic fluid where you'd have brake fluid. You, you still got a power plant. You got to have a fuel system, got an electrical system. You know, where aircraft get different in the mechanical means is the power plant's completely different. The ignition system's redundant. The electrical system's a little bit more complicated. And then the biggest difference is you have a big aluminum airframe that's riveted together. I mean, ain't like brakes came out on aircraft first. Fuel injection came out on aircraft first. Everything came from the aircraft industry. And evolved and we're really working on the aircraft that pioneered so much. Well Chad this place is unbelievable you have planes at different levels of restoration a lot of technicians and of course a lot of snap-on tools can we check it out? Yeah let's go. This plane is not a complete unit but it's broken down what's mm -hmm. going on here? This was an aircraft that we restored back in the 90s early 90s and this was built by Hawker a British company through a contract was sold to the Iraqi Air Force so it was called an ISS Fury Iraqi single seater because okay. they had one pilot this aircraft came to the States and there was a several aircraft bought and this was one of them we took the aircraft we put a modern hydraulic system in it the British had different tolerances different factors different sizes. And one thing Snap-on did years ago is they built British standard type wrenches and sockets. And I actually have a set, some of the other guys have a set, which yeah. is unique, because if you got a set, you can work on a Rolls-Royce Merlin engine out of a P-51, or you can work on a Sea Fury or a Spitfire, because they're all British standard. Had a landing accident and broke the gear. The engine had to go off to an engine shop. A lot of this structure had to be rebuilt where the gear casting is, because all that was broke. So this okay. is basically a body shop state for an airplane is what's happening out here. Can we take a look at some more planes? Yeah, sure, right. come on. This is an F-8F Bearcat. This aircraft was produced in the late 40s, headed to the Pacific when the war ended with Japan. Because it had such a large prop, Grumman, who engineered this airplane, they put a unique knuckle in this. We'll let Caleb show you all. All right, cool. Caleb, nice meeting you, man. Good to meet you. All right, so this is your baby. You started this thing was nothing. It was just a couple of spar caps on the table, not even welded into a full length of a spar cap. It was something else to be able to see it come together from the ground up. I'm told that this will be at an air show, but I mean, the clock's ticking, man. This thing's gonna be done in just a few months? It's possible <laughs> if we keep at it. What's the coolest aspect of this specific project. There's not really many of these flying that I know of. Also, it's a warbird. When you're in there, what's the most interesting tool that you've ever used that you've acquired from Snap-on Tools? Those angle wrenches sure kick in a lot of the times. I mean, there's some tight places you gotta get in with them. Do you have any of those around? I do have some. I'll grab you a few. Do you find that's because the way these were built back in the day, they're throwing them together? And how they made them. I just don't understand that. We were talking about this hydraulic system here. Can you show it to me? Correct, I will. So cool. <laughs> so cool. Look at it, now it looks fast. Uh. 
Chad. Not only do we have one, but we have two Corsairs. This one a little bit further than the other one as far as getting it all together. What's the story behind this plane? It was a flying airplane. Two year restoration is what these normally take. The engines are overhauled pretty much the same way as they've been since the 40s. The Brewster Corsair came in and it was a wreck. To restore that aircraft, we would call that a major rebuild. The pilot jumped out, it crashed itself, hit a tree, spun around. People came over the years, started taking parts out of it. So one guy came and cut the tail off. The left wing was disintegrated. It's just so many things wrong with yeah. it. We've been working on that one seven years but it's the only one in existence. It's the only Corsair built by the company Brewster, and they only built aircraft for about a year. Wow. Where are we on this? How much time we have left uh, before this is in the air? We'll be flying this one next month. Next which, month? Yeah, this, yeah. One more month. Yeah. Look at this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Bryce, how we doing? I'm good, man, how are you? Yeah, yeah, good. What's your title here and what do you do? I guess I'm a fabricator. <laughs> <laughs> and how long you worked here? Right at two years, I right think. Right two years. Why planes, man? I mean, it's just a cool niche deal. And it is, and that's exactly why I picked planes, because yeah. I thought it'd be cool, man, yeah. build fighter planes. Do you think the tool makes a difference? Yeah, we got million dollar tools in this box building these million dollar planes. I use everything in this box almost every day. Do you have any aspirations of flying yourself? Oh, I'd love to. Yeah? Stick me in one right now. All right, well, here's your helmet. I'm yeah. just kidding. <laughs> I don't want a helmet. <laughs> Do you have a favorite tool? I okay. like this tool right here because it's got power and it will cut through everything I've needed it to cut through. And it looks cool. It does look cool. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. It's a yeah. jack of all trades, but sounds yes, like sir. price of all trades. Right? Yes, Thank sir. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, guys. Yeah. Jason, how are we doing? I'm good. All right, so how long have you been here at Azel? Almost 12 years. So what were you doing prior? Prior to that, I was in the Navy. I understand you're just up in the cockpit, about to wrap this thing up. How long would it take to wire one of these things? About a year, I mean, it takes a while. Whew. And right now, you're concurrently working on three planes around the hangar? Yes, sir, I am. Is there anything on your wish list? Not really, but I did get one of those cameras for looking in tight spaces. How instrumental is that tool working on the planes? You get in areas you can't even see what you're doing, but I can put that in there and find where I need to get. It's even got the mirror on the end. That was the best thing I've ever bought, and I was worth it. I'll let you get back to work. You got three planes. One's got to fly here in about a month, but uh, thank you for your time. Chad, this thing's awesome. And from what I understand, the guy who owns this drives this thing. For a lot of these guys, that's their go-to airplane. It's got a lot of good attributes. He hops in it, throws his bag to back, and goes where he wants to go. He commutes in this thing. And what plane are we looking at here? This is a P-51D. This aircraft was engineered and built during World War II. And it was done in a really short time frame to meet the requirements the Air Force needed of a long-range support aircraft for the bombers. And this one had a Rolls-Royce Merlin engine in it. How many of these exist in Oh, the world? Like there's a lot out there and probably more coming along. Being an Army Air Corps, it didn't have to have the folding wings like the Navy aircraft. You know, it had to have 650s in it, had to have good fuel range, which it had two wing tanks, about 92 gallons, and it had a rear fuel tank behind the pilot. And the pilots liked them because they had good performing characteristics. I bring you a decent, or we're piecemealing a Mustang here together. What's that gonna cost me? If you used to drag in a project, we could probably get you one together for less than a million, about a million. Chad, thank you so much. This place is incredible. Not only is it professional, clean, but you're really paying homage to yesteryear. Of course, the customer is important, but they're the ones really making it happen. So we gotta give homage to those guys, putting the money into a market, to put things back to where they should be in preserving these aircraft. So there's a lot of money going into preserving them. We're just a key part of that. Well, thank you again. I'll see you around. Yeah, appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching Snap On Tools Great Garages. For more videos, click here. And for all things Snap On, be sure to subscribe.